Hello, people. I'm back. I know it's been a whole week. However, did you cope? I suppose I have to say this because it has never been more true. I am here. Yeah. And my headphones aren't even connected. Bloody thing. Wait, it is connected. Oh, for God's sake. Okay. Try that one more time. So I did not hear that. I am here. <sighs> There's always problems, isn't there? <laughs> Oh well. Da -da -da. Okay. Ah, oh, it's working now. <laughs> but at least Santa actually working this week. I like the last few times when uh, it's been playing up a bit. But yes, they've just finished the national anthem. So, we've got ooh, 13 minutes until the start of the race. So, I might as well switch over to the right channel. Alright, that's there. Yellow flag, red flag, virtual safety car, and safety car. Hey, everything's still working. And just check the check commands. There we go, and everything's working. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh. I'm hoping this is going to be a good race today. I am. We've got Bottas on pole. We've got Lewis Hamilton second. We've got Mats in third. And then Perez in fourth. We've got Bottas and Mats um, on the clean side of the grid. And Lewis and Perez on the dirty side of the grid. So, again, that could really play into things here. But... There's what, 12 points in it at the moment? 125 points up for grabs? There is still everything to play for in this race. In this season, still. And um, someone at work, one of the managers, turned around to me and go, Oh, yeah, it's all over for Lewis. It's like, well, you can't say that. You really cannot say that. God, it looks so good. My head is so smooth. So shiny. Well... Coming up to Toto Wolf. Uh, but yeah, it should be a good race, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, <laughs> I had a joke with a friend of mine on um, twi uh, Twitter. Saying... Um, I wonder what's on the uh, piece of paper that um, Helmut Marco ga uh, gave to uh, Pierre Gasly. I was like, yeah, get Lewis, make it look like an accident. Two million bonus. <laughs> I got a picture of it. <laughs> Jeez, those fireworks are loud. But, yeah, it's all going to be down to the start. It's going to be down to pit strategies. And it's going to be down to Lewis and Matt's not making any stupid mistakes. Because if they do, then who knows how the race is going to go down. Okay, we've got Bottas putting his, uh, head, his balaclava on. Zipping himself up. So we're looking a couple of years ago. 
had oh like second or fourth either third or fourth place i'm not sure which one it is but they managed to get straight up Oof. it's in 2018 you know there were places made up from behind last year having a look at oh ferrari really pinching lewis uh vettel and the two ferraris managing to stay in front there and red bull oh and then cutting across the grass and losing place to so uh, it's it could be interesting at the start there it could be very interesting at the start uh see i've been looking around i know people have been asking me about driver trackers haven't been able to find one also i can't find my like streaming in fact i've got enough time let me see if i can change into my invisible clothing I know where my t-shirt is, so I can at least do that for you guys. I found it. Uh -huh. Right. Now, sort out the neck bit. Uh, pull this forward. Yes. Sort this out. Luckily, there's no... Uh, Oh, there's a little bit of face paint on it. But yeah. So, drivers have been strapped in. We've got seven minutes to go until race start. Just a floating head. I feel myself again. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, when it's adverts. Well, the one thing I do, I, I seem to have been losing weight in my hands. I almost lost my wedding ring the other day, so I've had to replace it. <laughs> so that is my new wedding ring, you know. <laughs> she wears my hand grips. I should probably exercise my hands. Build up the muscles in me hands. <clears throat> I've been using these a lot recently. Very useful. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> But yeah, it's just the old grips. But amazing, I mean, I never realised. The muscles that control your hands, they let you do that. If you look further down my arm, you can see the muscles are actually still moving all the way down there. So it connects right down at the elbow. <laughs> I love the fact they're adver still advertising the whole um, Sky Q. It's like, oh yes, look at these highlights of the race. And the first thing you see is Mazepin crash. Is that because it happens every race almost? Uh, five minutes. Ciudad de Mexico. Uh, the music shall play shortly. We will be on the world feeds.
and then we'll be into the race, which obviously is what everyone's waiting for. So, I mean, Lewis has actually won the championship here a couple of times as well, I think. At least once. I remember the time, um, I think he won the championship and they actually brought his car up onto the podium. Just like brought it up on like, um, I think, I wonder if they can do that after the race. Like lift the winner's car up onto the podium. Ah, we have the music. We have the drivers. Dun, 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 dun. It is time for Formula One. Bam, ba, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, bam, bam, bam. Ah, here we go. Ah, this is going to be good. So, okay, so what special stats have we got for this race? What are they going to tell us? Yes. Okay, that's a weird two-headed statue. The first pin there for 1963. Damn. Next two races take place at the highest altitudes. So it'll be interesting how the engines react to that. Two very high altitudes. But yeah, we've got a nice long straight on this track as well. Uh, okay, action zones. We've got a few of them. We've got a few. Stadium will be the most interesting one. Right, come on. Okay, so we got the soft, medium and hard. C2, 3 and 4. So it's the middle selection of tyres as well. Right, starting grid. Bottas is first with Hamilton second on the dirty side of the grid. Verstappen third, Sergio Perez fourth. Obviously, it's Perez's home race, although if he's ahead of Matt's in the last few laps, chance our Red Bull are going to turn around and go, Matt, sorry, mate. Max has got a win. Oh, missed a couple, but Ricardo seventh, Leclerc eighth. Vettel ninth, Raikkonen tenth. God, the two old boys of the grids. Oh, and Alonso 12th. Giovinazzi's 11th. Nicholas Lassibi 13th. Mick Schumacher's in 14th. Damn. Mazepin's 15th. Ru oh, poor. Oh, no wonder. Russell's starting 16th with Gearbox penalty. Snowden's starting 17th. Norris is 18th. Ocon 19th and Stroll 20th. Oh, it's all engine penalties. That explains a few things then. Ooh. But Perez is attempting to become the first Mexican driver ever to lead a lap or stand at the podium at his home race. Ah, oh, damn. I mean, I know there's only been like six Mexican F1 drivers, but damn, to be the first... They've never had a Mexican lead a lap or stand on the podium at their own Grand Prix. That's harsh. That is really harsh. Uh, yes, so, right, obviously the stream itself is a minute or like a minute behind, I think, so, come on guys, we're sat there ready to take the tie blankets off, so we look at Bottas,
Ah, uh, this is always the quiet part of the race, isn't it? Just waiting. But yeah, it's, I'm hoping for a good race. Oh, right, seems to clear in the grid. But yeah, I'm hoping for a good, clean last five races. Um, if it's in, if it end, the championship ends in the gravel trap, I'm not going to be happy. I'm really not. And look at the clock. And off they go on the parade lap. Which will then result in a sea of mechanics all legging it for the um, exit back to the pit lane. Wow, that is dusty. Just watching that dust get kicked up. Wow. Just this brown cloud lifting up into the air as the cars leave the grid. So it expects in pits, any, if a two-stop strategy around lap 17, uh, one stop possibly around level, lap 22. But of course, we know what Red Bull are like when it comes to uh, pit stop strategies. They will do whatever the hell they want to get the undercut and get ahead. Let's face it, they did it last week. <laughs> Sorry, I just got to see more alerts are coming up. People are just loving my my tweet earlier. I'd sort of take the piss a little bit where it comes to uh notes being passed to drivers before the start of the race. Alright, looks like they're coming into the stadium now, so the race will be starting shortly. Wow, the ch you can hear the cheers for Sergio Perez as he comes into the stadium. Uh, last five winners, Hamilton, Verstappen, Verstappen, Hamilton, Rosberg. So it's 50-50 between Hamilton and Verstappen for the last four races here. So neither one has an outright advantage in terms of history. So, <laughs> they're saying Bottas could technically still be champion. It's like, no, he can't. He will not be champion. If he is, I would be uh, absolutely amazed. So, Lewis has got his car aims to the left. Wow. Top eight are in position, and then everyone else is still coming around. It's like, how are going so slow? Yeah, see, Martin's even saying they used to be timed within 30 seconds uh, for line up on the grid. Because, of course, all these cars are air-cooled. They, they don't have fans. So they only get cooled. The engines only get cooled as the cars are moving. So the longer they're sat on the grid... These engines are getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Uh, not to mention with the altitude as well. It's thinner air. Oh, two lights, three, four, five lights. And it's go, 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 go. Come on. So, both Mercedes are getting away well. In fact, it's Lewis. Oh, we got Perez on the outside, Verstappen on the outside. It's bloody three, four, three abreast. Verstappen takes the leads. Bottas has been spun! Bottas has been spun on the first lap! Oh my god! What the hell? What the hell, Sinai? But Stappen's taken the lead of the race right away. Hamilton behind them, Perez, and then Pierre Gasly. But, oh my god, Bottas got... Hey, brother! Welcome, man! Thank you for coming in on my first stream back since Halloween. Oh, there's more contacts. Hello. So that's Russell being hit as well. Oh, Ricardo's. Oh, it's a safety car. It is a full safety car. Oh. What the hell was that? How have you been, Bromer? How have you been, my friends? Ooh, there's a McLaren there with no front wing. I think that's... Oh, Ricardo. Oh, 
Who's that? Alpha Tauri? Sonoda's out. No, I like Sonoda. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, and this... Oh, Mick Schumacher's out as well. Oh, poor Mick. Mick pulled over at the side of the track. Oh, God. Russell's up seven places, though. That's pretty damn impressive. Verstappen's up two. Lewis is still in second. Fucking fly flying around. Perez, where's... Oh, Bottas is dead last, down in 18th. Oh, you son of a... Yeah, I've not been too bad, man. I mean, it's retail, so... Yeah, it's it's very, very busy at the moment. All right, Ricardo's out. All right, just leaving a message for Timbo. Uh, don't you just hate it when like oh oh yeah there's Snowder out All right, da, 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 da. <laughs> Timbo, you get. I'm lurking. I'm earning those points. Yeah, to refresh. Oh, that's a, that's no worries, Bromer. I just had to send the. We're looking on. Hope Oh, cheers, Timbo. I'm lurking in yours as well. So uh, you'll know the race is over when I come and kill you. <laughs> uh. Got a lot of, if it, in fact, um, Bromer, can you give Tim, I know he's only lurking, but can you give Timbo a shout out? Um, he is an absolute brilliant streamer. Love him to bits. Brilliant guy. Oh, yeah, he got tagged there. Oh, bloody hell, that was scary. Do you see that onboard replay, Bromes? Just gets tagged. But then there's so much dust coming up. I'm amazed no one else saw, no one else hit him. So prayers coming around, and then you just yeah, Sergio avoided the whole damn thing. But oh my god! Oh, see, it's just a massive cloud of dust, and then oh, just everyone driving over the top of Esteban Ocon. Sonoda? Yeah, it could have. Um, it reminds me of um, uh, Felipe Massa in um, 2008. Because um, I don't know if you were watching Formula 1 back then, but 2008 British Grand Prix, it was very, very wet. Um, the championship that year came down to being between Lewis and Felipe Massa. I mean, Hamilton won it by one point for 30 seconds. Massa was actually champion that year until Lewis passed um, uh, I can't remember who he passed. But he passed someone I think the name began with a G. Um, on the literally the last corner, of the last lap of the race, um, to get the championship off of Bottas at the very end by one point. Um, 
Was that like the land the Lando incidents? Which Lando incidents? Lando's had a couple of incidents. But no, 2008. Oh, um, yeah, because the other guy didn't pit for wet tyres. Because it had just started raining. So yeah, kind of like that. But Massa won the race on wets because he was one of the ones that pitted for wets. Lewis had dropped down to sixth and he had to finish in fifth um, to win uh, to win the championship. And this other guy basically hadn't pitted. He'd made up a bunch of places, which what put Lewis down. And then, basically, he was so slow on the last lap, Lewis managed to pass and get fifth. And obviously got the championship. Oh, safety cars in this lap. Um, but yeah, early on that season, really wet race. Started wet and finished very wet. Um, but no, on the first lap, Felipe Massa spun. He actually ended up spinning five times that lap, uh, that race. Uh, Lewis actually won ahead of Rubens Barrichello by just over a minute as well, that race. Absolutely amazing uh, race. But, um, uh, yeah, the onboards from 2008. I think uh, for F1 actually put that race up, so go check it out sometime, because you only need to watch the first race, uh, first lap. And oh, 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 Mats is going, Mats is going. So he's always, oh, mate. Oof. So up to lap five. <laughs> Everyone's getting fastest lap as they're going through. <laughs> yeah, Verstappen weaving just to try and break the toe from the drag. But yeah, when Massa spun uh, back in 08 on that first lap, all the spray everywhere and all the rest of it, just vroom, 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 vroom. All the, um, I saw that, what, the 2008 one? I've been watching this since like the early 90s, man. Or you mean Verstappen weaving? The weaving was just to break the toe, because obviously he's punching a hole in the air. And Lewis, if he's following, he's getting the drag. So... You know, it's basically pulling him along. So Max has to sort of weave around and break the drag. The only time you can't weave like that is if the person behind is doing an overtaking manoeuvre. Oh, the first lap. Yeah, it's just watching the purple bit going ding, 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 going all the way down. So let's see how long it takes Bottas to get back up into the points. Um, but yeah, in the spray in 08, just watching everyone flying past Massa, I was sat there in the pub, um, pint in hands, just going, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Luckily he made it, you know, no one hit him. But <sighs> Hamilton's always what, already one point, one and a half, ooh. That was 1.7, it's now down to 1.47, so, oh no, back up to 1.6. So, is this how the race is going to play out now? Um, but also, the other thing to consider is, could McLaren do what Red Bull did last race? Because, you got to consider the fact that, there could be something there. There could be something there. You know, if they can undercut him. So, oh, Stroll going really wide there. So he's trying to make a move on Ricardo, I think. Yeah, Daniel Ricardo. And yeah, just takes him right off the track. But I think it must not be very humid right now, Mexico. Yeah, I mean, don't forget, it's also um, a high altitude as well. So the air is very thin. But the other problem um, that contributes towards the dust is the amount of pollution. Um... 
there are mi I can't remember. I swear Ted Kravitz mentioned yes. I think there's something like 17, 18 million people or something stupid like that in Mexico City. Um, traffic is always terrible. So you've got a lot of cars on the road, probably a lot of older cars as well. And of course, you know, you've got a lot of deserts in Mexico, I think. At least that's what I've learned from films. So, yeah, you've got a lot of dust, but it's a lot of pollution as well. Um, in certain areas. Yeah, in certain areas. But, oh, Lewis down to two and a half behind him now. There's... <laughs> I know they're not everywhere. I know they're not. I'm just saying, you know, it's the main... No, oh, Howardson's saying Matt's is quick. But, jeez, he's two and a half seconds behind already. Yeah, I came with drink. <laughs> I miss... Seven... Um, yeah, seven up being in the green bottles. I miss that I used to be able to have invisible drinks. But, um, oh, one naughty thing I did hear. Okay, they've actually drawn a box around Russell's car on that show. Do you notice that there's little white corners around the wheels showing the space that Russell's car was actually taken up? That's a weird, that's a weird graphic. Been spat on by my drink. All right, two point. Ah, uh, see that gap is slowly going up. However, Perez is like another five seconds almost behind Lewis, so it doesn't look like Perez is going to be uh, overly um, threatening. But Mick and Yuki already out. But yeah, I mean, like I said about the deserts, so I mean, no, I, I did, well, it adds that, you know, it's what you see in TV and film, you know? I mean, obviously it looks lovely and green here on the grass verges and all the trees and everything. Oh, Raikkonen getting past. Oh no, Raikkonen getting past um, Russell. So I thought that was Russell getting past Raikkonen then. Uh, so Russell's intense, which is nice. It's nice to see uh, Russell in the points. Obviously, next season he's going to be with uh, Mercedes, so he will be Lewis's teammate. So it'll be nice to see what he can do. Well, actually, just saying that, he had two opportunities to win in um, Abu Dhabi last year when Lewis had COVID. Um, he took Bottas. Um, did you see Abu Dhabi last year when the race that Lewis had to miss because of COVID? Um, I think it was the one where George, uh, no, Roman Grosjean, um, basically blew his car up. Um, that was a hell of a smash. Did you see that? And Max has set another fastest lap. Jeez, he is pushing. He's really pushing there. You think he's... Yeah, because he got sort of tagged as he was trying to pass someone. Went onto the side. Went off. Hit the barrier. But it hit the barrier at such an angle. Excuse me. It ripped the back off his car and just... <laughs> Huge pie Oh, the two Alpines having a nice little fight there. All right. There's an Alpine and a Williams. Alonso getting past Russell. God, from behind, you just see the two blue. Oh, George, what is going on? But, um, yeah, that was a horrible one. That was an absolutely horrible one. Um, I literally just watched it. I'm like, no, fuck. Because all you saw, like, because you're looking up the straight. You see, never come there. You just see a car go, go off. And then, pff, fireball. You're just like, holy shit. Alonso. Oh, they're selling nice work. 
That's interesting team radio, that. Nice one. But, um... I'm not sure if it was that one or... In fact, no, I think it was that one, because there's a race after. And Lewis is back for the race after, so I think it was that one. But Russell managed to take... He qualified second. He took Bottas. Yeah, I saw all of it, bro, right, mate. I saw all of it. I was sat here watching the whole damn thing. Um, although, to be honest, there wasn't really any traffic at that point. But he did leg it across the track, which is very, very dangerous to do. I mean, luckily, obviously, all the cars have gone past at that point. But um, there is footage on YouTube. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend watching it. But um, I think it's a race from 73 where someone had crashed. Um, I think, I can't remember if the car was on fire or not. But you had two marshals run across the... I mean, cars are still flying past at full speed. Um, and two marshals um, have run across the track, um, an older marshal and a younger one. And the younger one was carrying one of those really old 70s fire extinguishers, big heavy things. And another fastest lap for Max Verstappen there. Um, and unfortunately, um, the younger guy got hit by a full speed F1 car. Because they come around the corner, go down the straight full speed. And obviously he didn't see the, the poor kid. Um, so the kid got hit by a full speed F1 car. And unfortunately, the fire extinguisher that he was holding hit the driver on the head. Um, so of course, then that car then flew off down the track, completely out of control, because the driver was dead. Um, and smashed into like barriers further down at the next corner. Um, and there's footage of it on uh, YouTube, which is a bit tasteless, but it does go to show the dangers of that sort of thing happening. Ooh! I'll pass one. Yeah, you don't see much. It is 70s coverage, but you do see the marshals going across, the car coming, and the guy just flying up in the air. Um, you don't see him again. Ah, oh, bloody internet. It's slowing down. Give me picture. I can't see anything. Ah, that's better. See, that's just a blur then. Um, well, is Hamilton actually catch? No, I'm not sure if he is or not. Well, we've got timings. 3.6 seconds between Verstappen and Hamilton. So, is that going to... Like, hey, silent. Salute you, man. You're calling me sir. I'm not a sir. I'm a king. I'm a liege. I'm your liege. Or sire. You missed the E. <laughs> but how you doing, Silent? How you doing, man? Bit quiet at the moment in the race. Oh, thank you for the shout out there, Bromer. Oh, who's that? Stroll. Wow, that is a slow stop. 3.9 seconds. Damn. Good playing some new... Ah, uh, you like that game, don't you? <laughs> but yeah, we had, an int we had a good start to the race. Um, Bottas got spun. Um, he ends up last. He's now up to 16th. So he's only lost 15 places so far. Ooh. A stroll fighting Latifi there. On cold tyres. Level 60. Nice, man. That's some good levelling. Were you ever a World of Warcraft player by any chance? Oh, it is the replay. Latifi just stuck his nose in front, but Stroll managed to hold it there at the chicane. So that's not bad. My brother did a special of college in Croatia, which is an hour or two from Mexico. Ah, nice trivia. What do you make of it then, Bromes? Lewis is down to four point. Lewis, the tyres are dropping off massively. So, who's got Lewis complaining about tyres for their F1 being... Damn it, that's what I meant to add. 
meant to add F1 bingo. Oh well. <laughs> really been meaning uh, to do like an F1 bingo sort of thing. Because there's certain things that happen every time. Food is fucking gold. <laughs> See, with all the... the st I'm talking stereotypically here, so don't get too defensive, Brunt. But with the stereotypical food and reaction to the food over there, you'd think the Mexicans would have better toilets than the fucking Japanese by now, wouldn't you? Obviously, I'm talking stereotypically. I'm so sure the food is lovely. It's been a, I think I've had a Mexican in my stream once, but I haven't seen him for ages, so. But, you know, we, I'll make um, the odd enchilada or tacos or fajitas. Um, time to time, we use the old El Paso kits. They are really nice. The only problem is I'm not allowed to get the spicy ones because Mrs. Grimm does not like spicy food. It's like I put just a tad too much black pepper in the spag spaghetti bolognese the other day. And she was, she didn't touch it. She had like one bite, went, oh, oh, what have you added to this? It's got a kick to it. And then she just ate the pasta. She didn't touch any more of the bolognese. She wouldn't even touch the pasta that had bolognese sauce on it. I was like, seriously? So then I ate her bowl of bolognese as well. I do love my cooking. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know if we get the same kits or not, but I guess we probably do. All right, Hamilton Perez, what have we got? Uh, now Perez is starting to catch Lewis. About a tenth a lap. So, oh, Perez Radio. My, oh, for f Yeah, I mean, that sort of thing will do. Um, I've seen a lot of stuff where they do cook it all day. Um, for a few uh, different countries. Oh, sorry, I woke up so early this morning. See, it's one of the reasons why I'm not keen on the races that are this late. Usually at this time, I'm just sort of relaxing, chilling. Um, I've actually been playing a bit of uh, Star Trek Online recently. And I would love to stream Star Trek Online, but I just don't think anyone would watch. Um, it is not really a game that people would watch, I don't think. Which is a shame, because I do enjoy flying my spaceships and shooting things. I've also been doing a bit of, um, uh, I've started, a, um, do you have a Switch at all, Broma? Oh, no, you don't actually need a Switch. Um, have you ever played a game called Gems of War? I've started a guild on there, I'm the only person in it. There are a lot of Mexican. Yeah, and I bet, like, the proper restaurants do do it properly, don't they? Cheese, caffeine, uh, drink. You don't know Jedi. It's uh, one of those matching gem games. But it's with a difference. You've got like these cards with characters on, and you got to match so many of a certain color or certain colors. Like some will just be like red or blue or green or purple. And some will be like red and yellow or blue and yellow. And you've got four of them on your team, four of them on the enemy team. And you've got to power your cards up to then attack the enemy cards. Um, it's a good time killer. Um, addictive if you're in the right, the right mood. You can just sit there for like an hour or two. Just sort of going through... Um, leveling your cards up and all the rest of it. It's, it's a fun little game. But it's on like Switch, it's on Xbox. It's probably on bloody PlayStation and all, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I was playing that this morning about 6am. So I was playing that about 13 hours ago. <laughs> but 
But um, yeah, it's a nice little um, time killer. But <sighs> Perez, Plan B for Perez. So something's obviously happened. But uh, yeah. You're looking to see. Sounds like a cone game. Ooh, yeah, see, I'd love to have Kona. Again, it's not something I could really stream just because it's. <sighs> Where'd I put it? Oh, I can show you on this, actually. Um. But yeah, I miss Kona. I've missed everyone over the last week. I have. It's just been so tiring at work. Because obviously where I work retail. And you know. Halloween. The people, I mean I wasn't working on last Sunday. But people were already. Because the Halloween stuff was almost sold out. Because we didn't get everything in. Um, You know. Halloween morning. They were putting all the Christmas stuff out. They were actually laying out. All the Christmas stuff. And of course now we're just getting pallets and pallets and pallets extra in the delivery. Of, um, uh, oh, let me bring up a random. So. Yeah, one of these games. Ignore the invisible ones. But you got. Your team, that side, the other team, that side. You match the gems, and you can see, like, the little numbers in the corner that show, sort of, like, what they need to power up, and then you use that power up to attack the opposition. It is strangely addictive. Um, but I've sort of made my own guild, Grim Kingdom. Um, but being on my own, you know, I'm not going to be able to, like, unlock much. It'll be a very slow thing. <laughs> but, uh, yes. Um, add on to that, like, Wednesday and Thursday, the older kid was off school. Um, Thursday, the younger one wasn't feeling much, so she was off as well, and then she was still ill Friday, so she was off Friday. I was thinking of coming back Friday, but because the little one was off. She was downstairs watching TV, because she doesn't have a TV in her room. So, of course, Mrs. Grimm was up here. Which meant I couldn't really get, like, stream with her, like, taking up most of the bed, so. But, you know, if anything, it's the first week I've had off of streaming since... February? <laughs> I have literally been streaming day in, day out. You know... Three to five times a week or more um, since February. So I, I didn't plan on it being a week's break, but I just kind of needed it. <laughs> I was coming back and I was just lying down and it's like, I don't have the energy. I do not have the energy to stream. My laptop got turned on for the first time since Halloween. This. Yesterday. So my laptop was actually turned off for six days, and that has not happened this year since I started streaming. <laughs> uh, see, so yeah, Hamilton's over seven seconds. I am really starting to lose hope. I am starting to lose hope now. Whereas all oh, Bottas is up to twelfth, about two and a half seconds between Hamilton and Perez. Um, but, you know, I mean, at the same time, you know, I've also got, like, you know, knee problems, back problems. I managed to get myself a belt, so I'm not pulling my trousers up every few every 30 seconds, which is nice, because I have lost some weight as well, you know. Um, I also had a phone call from the doctors the other day. Oh, yes, you're overdue for your, um, diabetes checkup. I was like, really? Um, I kind of know, it's like, yes, can we, like, book you an appointment now? I was like, yeah, okay. Okay, so the morning of the 22nd of December. So a couple of days before, Hall 
before Halloween, before Christmas, I'm going to have to go in for like my diabetes check. And I was like, so, and how are you coping with your diabetes? Like, I don't know. I'd only recently been diagnosed. I was going in for like my second or third checkup. And that got cancelled because of COVID. And that was at the start of last year. So I don't know how I'm doing with my diabetes. Uh, you know, it could be that's why I'm tired. You know, maybe I'm not doing well with my diabetes and that's why I'm tired. Who knows? I may be struggling until December and then I get like back on, put back on the bloody pills for that. Seems like that. Who knows? I really, I mean, that's probably one of the reasons why I'm yawning as well because it is a lack of energy and stuff like that. Um, you know, I can only do what I can. Um, but one of the, oh, the worst thing about these bloody pills is I actually have to eat more when I'm taking these tablets. I remember when uh, I first started taking them and I wasn't eating enough with them. And I'd literally only had a small lunch because obviously, you know, trying to lose weight, help with the diabetes and all that lot. And what was it? I took um, the metformin and I made it as far as the bus stop, which meant coming out of the house, walking through the alleyway, through the underpass or the subway, um, coming out the other side of the road and then walking back up, same distance, to get to the bus stop, which is, you know, there's a bunch of houses in between, so I couldn't just come straight, go straight across. And I'm stood there waiting. And I feel this churning. And then I start to feel pressure. I'm like, oh, fuck. Cross my legs, squeeze the cheeks. And start walking very quickly with my ass cheeks glued together. I swear, you could not have swiped a fucking Visa card. You could not have swiped your bank card between the cheeks of my ass. I was squeezing them that tight. Um, back through the subway. <laughs> back up the other side. Back through the alleyway. Through the, like... Past houses, through the other alleyway, back in, through the door, slammed the door shut into the toilet, which is right by the front door, sat down, trousers just in time. Mrs. is like, you're not going then? It's like, <laughs> no. <laughs> Ten minutes I got off the toilet, I'm like, Ugh. I've been turned inside out. And literally, if you do not eat enough, that is what it will do to you. Which is the weirdest thing. You know, you're trying to lose weight. But you've got to eat more. Otherwise, your medication turns you inside out. <laughs> I mean, could you imagine me, like, trying to do, like, stream. And I haven't eaten enough. And it's like, uh, oh, oh, guys, um, back in five minutes. <laughs> and all you can hear, because I'll have forgotten to do the mic. And all you'll just hear is. Oh, God, no. Oh. Um, it won't be fun. It would not be fun. <laughs> I'm sure, sure like, a few people would be pissing themselves laughing. Um, but, yeah, it wouldn't be fun. <laughs> and there wouldn't be much gaming getting done. Oh. Pit window's now open for the one-stop strategy. Hamilton. Can't pull away from Perez. I mean, Hamilton was complaining ages ago that his tyres are just getting worse and worse. But yeah, he's, I'm definitely starting to think now that Hamilton is seeing this um, championship slowly slipping away from him. Which, it is a shame. It is a shame. I was, oh, most people did that to you. I could... Um, no, um, Lewis hasn't uh, pitted yet, Silent. So this will be his first pit stop when he does come in. 
Um, but Hamilton's eight seconds behind Verstappen now. Um, judging by how long a pit stop should probably take, I'd say at the moment Verstappen could probably pit and come back out in third place because Gasly's so far back. Um, Bottas chasing down Ricardo, so it's ooh, what a third of the way through the race, maybe. Um, Bottas has made it back up to twelve. Oh, that was so close! That was so close. He almost managed to make a move on uh, Ricardo there, but not close enough. But at least it means Bottas is fighting. Which, yeah. I mean, he must be pissed after the start of the race. Yeah, he went... I don't know, Bram, what do you think? Did he, like, slip on whatever that white shit was, or...? Um, but yeah, I mean, I used to be able to take pills on an empty stomach. I mean, I used to be, because obviously I'm autistic. I was on uh, Ritalin and then Concerta, which is basically a slow-release form of Ritalin. And yeah, I had to take it like first thing in the morning. I had to take it um, like just before I finished short at 3 o'clock. So I'd be let out a lesson a few minutes early. So I just head over to the nurse's office, take the pill, or I must be honest, cheek it, and then just like you know, through the teacher, <laughs> the head of year and the head teacher, and the head of years corridor where they had all their head of year offices, um, and then out through the gate, and I'd be like walking out the gates as the bell was going, so everyone else would then be leaving class. So I got a head start on everyone else on the way home, <laughs> which was kind of nice. Avoiding everyone. Uh, I don't get why. I mean, after... Like... Mercedes was so dominant yesterday, from what I can tell. But for Mats to get... Just stay ahead like that. So... I'm just really starting to wonder, you know, is the championship truly... Is it, um, the two-stop strategy was between lap 17 and 22. Um, the one-stop strategy was from about um, uh, lap 22 onwards. Um, obviously, the longer you can get your tyres to last on a one-stop, then the easier it's going to be um, on your second set of tyres. So, because your car's going to be lighter, because obviously they're burning off fuel with every lap. Um, so the car's going to be lighter. That's going to be punishing the tyres less. Um, on top of that, you know, if you can make it over halfway, you're not only going to be going easier on your tyres, but... You know, they've then got less distance to cover. Uh, not to mention, the more the cars go round, they're getting rubber into the track itself. Um, they're laying down rubber. If, if you look in some areas from some of the aerial shots, you'll see a darker line on the track. Um, especially on corners and that. Where it is part of the track is just darker. That is the racing line. And that is where all the rubber is being put into the track. And that's giving it even more grip. Um, that's why they talk about green tracks, like if it's been raining, because it washes that rubber away. And then, of course, as they go out and they go around, and they say the track evolves and all the rest of it, that's because more rubber's being laid down into the track. Um, so, yeah, it's there's so many things um, to really... Oh, bloody hell, he's not over nine seconds behind now. Oh my god, wow. You look at the side of Lewis's car, when you get the close-ups, um, bear in mind that's a black car. Parts of his car just look grey. 
because the amount of dust oh, I can't see because that bloody graphic it doesn't look as bad on the red bull I think probably because they're just not black um, but yeah when you get the close up to the side of Lewis's car I mean I would like Perez to make it on the podium I do hope Perez makes it because he'll be the first Mexican to do that Oh, Mercedes are coming out. It's, they're bringing them both in. They're double stacking. All right. That looks like a nice, clean set of tyres for Lewis. 2.4 second stoppage time, which is good. And uh, 22.3. So Lewis is now behind Gasly for Stappen. Tires are good. Oh. Leclerc's gotten ahead of Lewis. <sighs> See, this is what I was saying earlier when like, I was sort of guessing at times. When Verstappen comes out, he's going to be way behind Perez. If he was pit right now, he'd be way behind Perez. But he would still be ahead of Lecle um, Gasly. So Leclerc's going to be pitting this lap anyway. But this, this could help Perez get ahead of Lewis. This is killing the championship for Lewis, this is. They're actually predicting Perez coming out in front. Hold on. I can't make out a word of what Matt's was saying on the radio there. But Leclerc coming in. They're now predicting... Um, Perez to come out. Oh, no, 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 no. Hamilton, no. Hamilton's put his foot down now. Hamilton has put his foot down. So. They're saying there's only. Th it went up to like a 74% chance. And now it's down to that. Well, yeah, because obviously they're measuring sort of like the distance they're about apart on the track at the moment. And also, it all depends on how long um, the cars are actually stationary for in the pit lane as well. Okay, so yeah, Lewis is putting his foot down now. I mean, it's not going to be enough to catch Verstappen, but if he's lucky, it'll be enough to stay ahead of Perez. Because... He's not... Oh, Gasly's in the pit, so that gives Lewis even more clear air. So, yeah, he's going... He's going to stay ahead of Perez. Fast, bloody hell, that is a fast lap. That is a seriously fast lap. <sighs> oh, Leclerc taking Alonso for eighth place. Uh, in some ways, I feel sorry for Alonso being in one of the also-ran teams. It can't be easy for him being all the way down there. It really can't. It's a little too hot. Well, in some ways, I agree with you, Brahms. In some ways, I do agree. 
However, at the same time, um, they are fresh tyres. Um, they do have more grip. So, is he pushing those tyres hard? Or, oh, because don't forget, I mean, Matt's was setting them in the 121s. But that was with a full fuel, well, a nearly full fuel tank. Lewis, he's got half a fuel tank. Ish. And it's fresh tyres. So, it is, you take different amounts out. Okay, so he's... Oh, who's pissing? Tell me who's pissing. Oh, they're boxing Verstappen. They're boxing Verstappen. So he's coming in. So let's see how this goes. Stoppage time of 2.2 seconds, so slightly quicker. So Perez, Perez is now leading the race. First Mexican to ever lead. I mean, this is a moment for Perez. This is a moment for him. He's got to actually go rounds at least another time because he's got to cross that line in the lead. I'm coming from an engineer standpoint. Tire break in the first slur. Yeah, I, mean, I, I get your point, Bromes. I get your point. Um, I have seen drivers overuse their tyres way too quickly. But also, I'm also talking almost 30 years of watching Formula One. Yay, and there's the crowd. And he comes round. And he has just become the first Mexican to lead a lap. <laughs> uh well done, Perez. I feel so happy for him. He's, you can hear the crowd. You can actually, if you listen carefully, you can hear the crowd cheering him as he goes by. Well, you know, it's, I like Perez. He's, he's a nice guy. And, you know, you can see the pleasure of the crowds. You know, it's always nice when... Oh, plan A plus 5. So, they've gone back to plan A. you got to stay out longer. So, they want to do with Perez what Mercedes tried with Lewis last race. Where if we keep you out longer, then you'll have less laps on your tyres to chase down the guy in front. Um, but then, of course, will he be able to pass? Part of me wants yes, because I do like Perez. Part of me wants no, because I don't want Lewis to lose too many points. I want it to still be capable for lewis to stay in this championship to keep it going as long as possible <sighs> yeah i know what you mean brums i know what you mean see also i've not i've noticed how quiet these streams are these are I'm really hoping, like, next year, like, from the first race, if I start this up earlier, you know, there's going to be people looking around for Formula 1 streams, and if I get them at right at the start, 
Hopefully these streams will be a bit busier. So, I'm using this year as a sort of like, you know, piss off Facebook. Tires are getting good, Perez. Too bad you're not. I know, I know. But it's it's why I changed it to F1 commentary to F1 watch along. Just because you know I enjoy the chat, and you know if you, when you guys have questions like Bromer, like I was saying to Bromer earlier about like Master in 08 and stuff like that. Press again. Pace is good. I bet he's just enjoying like leading his home race because I know I would be. But yeah, I'm just really hoping that um, I can get some sort of like boost at the start of the next season. So I'm carrying it on. You know, this year is more of a test sort of thing. And an excuse to do extra streams. So it's like, as long as you're an F1 fan, you know when I'm going to be on. <laughs> but also, while it's quiet, make the most of it, because I can answer every F1 question you got. <laughs> but I mean, it's like, t earlier on today, I had to, like, um, send toilet. Because he's asking what I thought of Michael Schumacher. I'm like, he's a dirty driver. He's like, me le leans. <laughs> Well, only if I started on pole, and I might lead right up until the first wall. Because I wouldn't make the corner, I'd just end up in straight in the wall. But it'd be worth it. <laughs> um, I mean, I'd love to do go-karting or something like that. God, can you imagine someone live streaming go karting? You lean Circuit Americas, yeah. Or Miami. They've got Miami coming up um, next year, I think. Oh, yeah. I'd <laughs> Wait, no, safety car would really play in Ferretti's hands. I'm thinking I would love a safety car right now. I mean, they certainly came out ahead of Lewis, but at the same time, yeah. But let's see, Perez is yet to pit, Sainz is yet to pit, Alonso, Norris. Um, Ricardo, Bottas. Oh, Bottas just, oh, trying to end it. No. Is he trying? No. This, you weren't aware of Miami? Huh. They've been talking about it for a while. Unless they've, like, changed their mind on it again. So they were talking about a New York one a few years ago. Just close off part of New York for a Formula One race. Huh. Tyrone to be close to that one. That'd be pretty cool. So I wonder if I'd like a mate at the race. Could, would I be allowed to stream footage if it was a friend at the race, with like their phone or a camera, just sort of stood in the stands, <laughs> just like recording the cars going past? Oh, late call for Ricardo coming in. Because it wouldn't be the actual TV footage. Interesting legal question. <laughs> Ooh, 2.9 stationary time. That's not that great. Ooh, is Russell anywhere near Ricardo now? Yes, he's having a look. Russell's having a look. 
No, oh, bloody hell. Ocon's having a look at Russell. I mean, what would be even better if you had like two or three mates stick them at different points around the tracks, like one at the start finish line, one like a main overtaking point, and then one at another overtaking point, or maybe on the last corner or something. It's like first corner, last corner, and a main overtaking point somewhere around the track. And just have your mates send your stuff back, and you're just there, like, just like sort of talking through it, watching the main stream, and on your own camera, like on your own stream, just sort of clicking between the three viewpoints. Although at the same time, how much bandwidth would you need to be able to do that? <laughs> to have three video feeds coming in, and like watching the like live stream of it. And live streaming it yourself. So Howison's ahead of Perez. Ooh, is that? Yeah, that's Russell who came out ahead. So Perez has got to get past him. It would be cool. I would definitely be up for that. I'll be up for that if I can get away with it. Um, that or if they like just did like a live stream for streamers. You notice my head is all shiny again. I got the wife to shave me again. But not here. This is going to start growing now. This is now growing back. I'm no longer shaving the beard anymore. That was for Halloween. If ever race in Kansas City, I'll go. <laughs> you can be my cameraman. But what would also... Oh, no. What's going on with Bottas? Front left. It's front left. 11.7 seconds. Ah. Uh... Monica. See, that is his second worst stop of the season. 11.7 seconds. Obviously, his worst stop of the season was about a week. Because it pretty much took him that long to get the bolt off his, like, the wheel nut off. But watching the replay again, watch that front left. And it's... Uh, cross threading and not on that level. Well, the thing is, these things aren't supposed to. Well, the thing is, Brimes, it's um, they're special nuts. So they put the gun in, fire it up, which spins it so quick. They put it off, next one on, and they got special nuts for it. Oh, Perez getting the fastest lap. Uh, yeah, see, they're going to... Yeah, in Monaco, um, like literally, it threaded it completely. It was just smooth. They had to literally drill the nut off. Um, and literally, they couldn't even get it off at Monaco. They had to ship it back to the factory. So then use special tools because it's hardened metal. They had to send it back for special tools to literally drill the nut off the car to be able to remove that wheel. Which is why I was saying his longest uh, pit stop was about a week. Oh, 
Oh, it's lap 44. Alright, so, watching, I think that's Max passing uh, either Ricardo or Norris. But yeah, it's, see, we're now in the, the slow part of the race, where they're going to be looking after their tyres for a bit. There's no one really fighting for anything, I mean... Bloody Orlando Norris is actually up 11 plat for Stappen Radio. Hmm. Interesting. Can you keep an eye on my front left compared to other people? So... That's very interesting. So, is he having problems? Just eight. Eight laps silent. What do you mean just eight laps? No, it's, we're on lap 45 out of 71. It's a 71 lap race, and we're on lap 45. So I'm going to disappear for a minute. Oh, once this should be Lando Norris's stop. Yep, Norris. So in from P7, he's already down to P8 because Mattel's passed him. And off goes 2.8 stoppage time. That's not a bad one. Anything sub three is a passable stop. Anything over three. And right outside. Yeah, no problem, Brom. So I'm going to disappear for just a minute. Because I'm going to have a quick uh, hit of nicotine. As you probably saw me licking my cigarette there. Um, but yeah, this is pr pretty much the best time for me to take a quick break. So I'm going to have a ciggy, quick pee break, and be back before anything interesting happens. I know Formula 1 so well, that unless an, something completely off the books happens, I will not be missing anything interesting. Damn, Formula 1's predictable. So, let's say what? Powered by AWS, the people who don't know shit, Perez will catch Hamilton in 18 laps. Although, how often are they right? Because they said last week, like two weeks ago, that, yeah, Lewis was going to get um, Matt's like, way earlier than he actually did. And he didn't, because AWS is bollocks. Unless they start sponsoring me, in which case they're amazing. Oh, and his tyres are fine. Oh, what a shame. Oh, I'll be back in just a minute. Quick smoke, quick beat, and I will be back.
Let's go downstairs. Someone's having a bar. But on the plus side, by having going for a few seconds, meant I was a lot quicker having a cigarette. See, I think about these things. <laughs> All right, that forty-nine out of seventy-one. So twenty odd laps to go. Plug me firm back in. So six, well, less than six and a half seconds between Perez and Lewis. Perez's tyres are what, about 10, 11 laps pressure? So Lewis can be lucky to get seconds. The only question is if Perez takes Hamilton. Is Hamilton going to pit to try and get fastest lap? Like, just try and get that one extra point. One point two seconds taken out of Lewis when Lewis is in clear air. And 13 seconds between Verstappen and Hamilton. And is that going up or down? That's probably going to go up, isn't it? Yep, slowly going up. This is Red Bull's race. So, how are you guys doing? <laughs> um, I mean, hopefully you guys are enjoying the race. I mean, it's, it's interesting enough. But it's just, like I said, it's, it's not that slow period in the race where the last of the pits have happened. And, yeah, they're just... They're too spread out at the moment. I mean, is anyone even close to anyone else? Now, the closest gap is Stroll to Russell, 16th and 15th. 1.3 seconds. Everyone else is so spread out. Bloody hell, Mazepin's 34.5 seconds behind Nicholas Latifi, who himself is 29.5 seconds behind Stroll. So that means Mazepin is over a minute behind 16th place. I am saying now, when this finishes, we are raiding Timbo Jr. Um, if anyone's got enough points, we must, like, as soon as we get in there, if anyone's got points for Timbo, um, we redeem them immediately and just make him do, like, two or three kills between us. And he'll just like, like, oh, God's sake, guys, come on. It'll be so much fun. Just all of us going in and, like, redeeming, kill Lara, kill Lara, kill Lara. <laughs> Yeah, down to 5.3 seconds between Hamilton and Perez. Hamilton Radio? Are you guys still there? <sighs> but yeah, so the biggest loser so far this race is Bottas, who's lost 12 places from the start of the race. Oh, well, Max has just taken fastest... So, yeah, Matt's has got fastest lap now, 118.999. Lewis is about 30, almost 13 and a half seconds behind now. This is... This is painful. This is painful to watch, like, as a Lewis fan. 
but yeah the state of his car jeez the literally like the bottom bit of his car if you look along when you get the side on shots it's just light gray So Ferrari, fifth and sixth, actually. That's not bad. So good for the good for the Ferraris. Ah, silent, do you like my idea? Do you have a thousand points for Timbo Jr.? Hey, welcome back, Rhymes. Two seconds, guys. I have an intruder. <laughs> you can speak. I know. Well, say hello then. Don't be rude. I said, I said, I'd come say hello. Hello. Yeah, I'd muted it at that point. I thought you wanted to talk to me. Oh. So now you can say hello. Hello, everybody. The disembodied voice says hello. I'm a disembodied head. She's a disembodied voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only got a few people. Already said, like, when we finish, we're going to go raid Timbo because Timbo's on. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I go in there, I am redeeming Kill Lara. I've got enough points. <laughs> it's like, as soon as he came on, I was like, yeah, she's not a floating head, though, Silent. She's actually got a body. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, she can't hear the race because I've got the headphones. Fine. But, uh, yeah, like I said earlier, the plan is, as soon as this race is over, we go and murder Timbo multiple times. So, hopefully I have enough to do it twice during the stream. But, ooh, stand to four seconds between Hamilton and... Pr Less than four seconds. Hamilton's going to be lucky to finish on the podium at this rate. Not oh, Leclerc radio. What? They want to swap the Ferraris around to give signs a chance to attack Gasly. Oh, that's, that's cool. It's not like they're... Oof. I heard murder Timbo <laughs> Hey, Spaniel! How you doing? Yeah, the plan is at the end of the race, raid Timbo, and then just, re like, any of us who've got enough points, we're going to, like, get him to kill Lara. You want to say a little Spaniel? Hello. <laughs> oh, I said the magic words. Murder Timbo, Spaniel appears. <laughs> My moderator, who appears the least these days. <laughs> Although she works retail like me, so it's kind of understandable. But yeah, oh, 3.2 seconds the gap between Hamilton and Perez now. I'm going to go and sort the girls out. Okay, bye-bye. Just been left from Clinton. A good girl, Spaniel. Good girl. You kill him. You kill him. I'm guessing you and uh, Gummy are probably teaming up again, aren't you? <laughs> Retail, so, yeah, it's why I haven't been on all week. I've just been so drained from work. Um, literally, I mean, I went in for a bit of shopping on Halloween in the morning. Because it's last Sunday. Obviously, I mean, you know that. And, um, yeah, Sunday morning, Halloween morning, they were already filling the shelves for the Christmas aisle. They're all laying it all out and everything. And this week, we have just had pallet upon pallet of Christmas stuff in our deliveries. And I've been getting back, and I'm just like, uh, no energy. No energy. So, 2.8 seconds between Hamilton and Perez with 15 laps to go. Oh, Russell and Stroll, and Stroll's getting past Russell. 
I can't wait until Russ was in a decent car. We can see if he's better than Bottas or not. Well, actually, we know he's better than Russell because we saw what he could do last year in a Mercedes when Lewis had COVID. Um, yeah, I just can't wait to see him in a Mercedes. Yeah, let me have a look. I got 1,990 quacks, so by the end of the race, I should have more than enough to... Uh, Like, get him a couple of times. My work got Christmas stuff end of September. So I could... Oh, really? Never... Now, see, my work usually starts doing it November 1st. Um, literally, you could set your, like, your calendar by it. Like, November 1st, one song an hour. Slowly building it up throughout November until, like, 1st of December, and then it's pretty much nothing but. Although, saying that, two years ago... We had no Christmas music at all. And it was amazing. It was so... A few customers were moaning, oh, I didn't feel like Christmas. It's like, no, it feels better. That year, I actually was cheerful at Christmas instead of being, oh, fucking Christmas. You know, I was actually happy at Christmas. I was even putting Christmas music on at home because it's like, yeah, let's have some Christmas music. Yeah. Yeah, I'm knackered, but sod it. I'm not sick of this stuff. Unfortunately, like, because of my young, my daughter is only seven, I couldn't put on my favourite Christmas song. But, uh, you know, I still had some. If I hear Santa Baby one more time. <laughs> is that a Britney Spears remix, Bromer? Santa Baby one more time. <laughs> oh, okay. Science has passed Leclerc now. They've done the swap. In Tim, we're talking about how commercial. It is Spaniel. It really is. You know, it used to be, you know, a religious festival. I mean, okay, yes, the Christians pinched it off of um, the pagans. But it really is. And um, let's face it, what isn't now? You know, there are shops out there that will put Easter eggs out. 1st of January. Um, you know, I mean, I'm surprised Halloween hasn't gotten, like, that bad. Um, I mean, in my store, it's... Ugh, Lewis complained about his tyres again. Tyres are wearing out. Perez. Brakes, tyres, battery all good. Let's go. Engine's good as well. And he's going to be in DRS, so, like, range, maybe by the end of the lap, maybe next lap. Well, problem is, Broma, a lot of the companies have been owned at some point, or in some way or another, by American companies. Um, Walmart owns um, one of our supermarket chains for years, and I think that's been part of the problem. And then, of course, you've got, like, Tesco, Sainsbury's, um, and the other ones, all sort of competing. And it's like, oh, yes, we're going to get, um, like, we're going to open Boxing Day. Oh, yes, we're going to open Boxing Day as well. Oh, yes, we're going to open Boxing And it's like, why? Why? Sad that some kids get iPads from Santa and some kids can't make them. Yeah, I know. <sighs> The whole Santa thing should just be, you know, maybe a little bag of sweets, a little bag of peanuts, um, you know, a couple of little pound toys or something, just to keep the kids entertained while the, and give the parents a chance to have a bit of a lie-in. Until the parents get up, everyone has a cup of tea or coffee or whatever, goes downstairs, then you open the proper presents from your parents and the rest of the family and all the rest of it. That's what it should be. You know, I've, I never had a big present from Santa. And, you know, to this day, I still get a stocking from Santa. Oh, yes, I do. 
I still get stockings from Santa. I mean, it's uh, via mummy claws. Um, but yes, Santa fills up my stocking at my parents' place and my mum sends it down to me. And then at some point during the year, I get the stocking back and go, here you go, give it to Santa. <laughs> uh, it's like the Journey song, don't stop believing. Because <laughs> if you don't stop believing, you don't stop getting presents. <laughs> there you go, he's in DRS zone. Just a little too far behind with, what, 10 laps to go? Uh, he's got DRS down this. Come on, Lewis. I mean, my chewing him on isn't going to make much difference, but... This is... God, look at all the Mexican fans chew. I mean... Okay, so you got have 1.3 seconds from the car in front to get the blue flag. Okay. So, ah, 10 laps to go now. 10 laps to go. Bloody hell, he's already around there? Jeez. See, Lewis just has to make his car as wide as he possibly can. But I don't think even that's going to make much of a difference now. Oh. Yeah, see, he's slowly getting closer. All right, so at least he's, yeah, Bromer, he pretty much is. Um, it's, it's a shame, because I was really hoping Hamilton would do well here after qualifying seconds. Um, purely to keep the championship, like, going. I want the championship to go to the last race. Unfortunately, it doesn't like it look like it's going to unless Hamilton um, has a lot of luck in the next couple of races. Um, Norris, <laughs> yeah, saying to him, not like just stay with him. You'll be able to pass not uh, Alonso a bit easier with any luck. So I get him two points instead of just one. But I mean, I I'm not a Matt Span. I will be honest. I'm not a Matt Span. But at the same time, it would be nice for there to be a new champion. I just wish it wasn't Verstappen. It's, uh, I don't want Verstappen as champion. However, yeah. Although saying that, Lewis is pulling away very slightly. So if, he's has following that closely for a lap or two. Hurt Perez's tyres. So... Uh, let's have a look at the speeds. 321, 328, 330. See, Lewis has got a higher top speed on that straight. Lewis had a higher top speed. I say this and he's getting away. Yeah. See, that's what I was looking at. I don't know if Lewis had um, DRS, maybe. 
Um, because it's gone up to 1.3 seconds now. So Lewis has pulled out over half a second from where he was. Oh, no. Oh, the car's overheating. So that's... Oh... Um, is he using it? Probably. Probably, Bromer. But the thing is, he's now being told lift and coast and let the aerodynamics slow the car down. Um, which is going to make him go slower because the car's overheating. Um, but yeah, this is going to put him about 20 points behind if he can stay where he is. Okay, so the th the Russell is now in between. How's that? Is that going to slow Perez at all? See, that's... Th they're not showing the timings. I want to see if that... Like, put him behind at all. And now Alonso's in between them. He's passed Russell, but Alonso's in between them. Is it... Oh, Bottas is pitted. Ah, oh, so they're going to try and take Verstappen's extra point away from him. They are going to try and take... Look like Perez didn't get a good luck. Yeah. Um, but like I say, this could be helping Lewis... Uh, he's past Alonso now. But Lewis is in clean air, which is going to help cool his car down. We've got about five, six laps left. But the gap's up to two seconds now. So that's going to give Lewis just a little bit of breathing room now. Because also Perez isn't going to be having the DRS either. But yeah, can you see the state of his car in those shots? That is absolutely filthy. Matt's radio. Yeah, just telling uh, Matt's that Bottas is going for fastest lap. Obviously, he won't get the point. Your eyes are good. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, it's coming back down again. He's he's trying. So, what, we need uh, more back markers, maybe? Five laps. But if Bottas can get that fastest lap... Oh, right. Raikkonen and Vettel to come. So, will that end up saving Lewis? Will that save Lewis's second place? This is the thing. This is why I like the... The start of the race, you get all the action because everyone's close together because obviously they start together. You got all that action right at the start. Then they spread out. So it's all like, yep, yeah, the car's going round and round and round and round and round. And then you get the pit stops. So it's undercut, overcut, undercut, overcut. And all the rest of it. When are they going to pit? You got the strategy involved. And then everyone's pits are done, and it's just they're going round and round and round and round some more. But then you get to this stage at the end, and there's always someone closing in somewhere. And obviously, Matt's is basically, unless Matt's is an idiot and just. screws up somewhere like you know completing a social brake failure or rear wing failure and goes flying off he's got the win there is no way lewis can catch up the seven 16 and a half seconds um but you've got perez who is so close and the only other person that's close is ricardo on giovanazzi and even he's not even in DRS zone. 
But Perez's tyres are 11 laps younger than Lewis's. In fact, yeah. But I'm wondering what Bottas is, Bottas is playing at because he's not... Oh, Matt's locking up just a little bit. So... <laughs> Bottas, race leader slowing me down. You can overtake him. This is the other thing. This is the thing that can screw up a race. Is a back marker can unlap themselves. So he was complaining about Verstappen slowing him down. Three laps left. Can Bottas take? He is not. He is in my way. He is in. So, are they trying to slow Verstappen down to let Lewis catch up? That that makes no sense. But see, Bottas needs to put his bloody foot down and get the fastest lap to take the point away from Mats. Mats has to be within one point three of a second of Bottas in order to, like, cause the blue flags, which means Bottas will then have to, like, go behind him. I'd really like to see him. You wouldn't understand half of it. He's Finnish. <laughs> it's, it's classic Kimmy. He's like, what? What the? Okay. They pitted him again for more fresh tyres. And then made him sit there just so he could have some clear air in front of him. And this is in the last two laps. And Perez is 0 0.7 behind Lewis. Perez is really caught up. Ooh. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, watching Bottas and all that. Perez has caught up over a second. Ah, oh, and is he going to have back markers to like help him? Oh, he's up to point nine. He's trying to get away. He's tr mm, they're on the f well. Mats is on the final lap. Lewis and Perez are coming into the stadium. Oh, uh, he's going to be in DRS zone for that final st time coming into this. Oh, uh, see, Lewis has got to use everything he's got. 0. 0.7. 0. 0.5. Oh, not quite. With all that, I'd be pissed by his boss ass. Just leave it alongside. Yeah. Uh, come on, Lewis. Come on. Just stay ahead. You need those points. Oh, he's too far back for it. He's too far back. Come on. That may be it. That may be it. Lewis may have just held on there. Lewis might have just held on. Oh, come on. Come on, through the state. Matt's coming through the stadium. Come on, round the final corner. And he becomes the first person to win the Mexican Grand Prix three times. 
Right. Oh, Perez has fallen back beyond a second, so he's not going to get DRS. He is not getting DRS coming into the finish straight. Oh, and Lewis. Lewis made it. And Perez third. Okay, with all that. No, oh, I want to. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Bottas takes fastest lap right at the end there. And a new lap record 117.774. Well done, Valtteri Bottas. <laughs> Oh, just taking that one extra point off of him. So that's, I think, a 19-point gap. 100 points left. It's not mathematically impossible. But... It's going to be difficult for Lewis to come back from that. It really is. Silence, my friends. Are you still there? No, he didn't. They just told Max he got fastest lap. No, he didn't. Yeah, you've been watching sites. Oh, no, no, he didn't. <laughs> right, so I got two ratings. If you subscribed, you got one. Uh, sorry, no, if you subscribed, you got that one. And if you are subscribed, you got that one. Well, I might change that to have Godzilla in it. I want the Godzillas. But, uh, yeah. Very nice. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go raid Timbo. If you've got a 1,000 points, don't forget to throw in, you know, do your raid shout and then kill him. If we can get a couple of kills in with the raids, that'd be nice. <laughs> yeah, let's announce ourselves. Tequila. It makes me happy. But yeah. Let's go to kill Timbo. Yeah, but thank you so much for coming. Which will be very early for you, Roma. Um, but Tuesday afternoon, with any luck, if it's not too busy at work, I should be back to normal. Uh, Wednesday, I'm not sure what's going on because I may have to pick my daughter up from school because the missus has got to go help her friends with her kid at hospital in Portsmouth and doesn't know when she's getting back. So, don't know. Don't know. But at the very least, Tuesday, I should be back as normal. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm going to click the button now. And let's go kill Timbo. <laughs> Thank you again for coming in, guys. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you again soon. Thanks for the rate, man. Look, as soon as he comes in, got him full oh, right. this, this will be uh, one of the most special. Obviously, there's a couple of weeks. And they've been singing. Yeah,